Welcome to the Human Computer Interaction Lab at the University of Rochester, where you study the human elements of computational systems. In computer science, we are always expanding the capability of computers. As a result, we should always be asking, are you solving a relevant problem of the society? Are you always augmenting human capability versus replacing it? And as a result, are you creating some unintended consequences in the society? And these are all the questions that we get to address at the Human Computer Interaction Lab at the University of Rochester. And the fun thing about human computer interaction is that we get to work on fun and useful application. For example, the number one fear in America is public speaking. Imagine anybody can go to a website, turn on the webcam, and practice their speech and get feedback. And we have validated this to help individuals with autism or even helping doctors to have better empathy as they deal with patients. We have also used the same technology to deal with movement disorders where we can quantify the subtle movement of their body and give them a referral of whether they're showing signs of Parkinson's disease or not, which is the fastest growing neurological disability in the world. We create embodied and intelligent technologies that offer new forms for learning and communication, especially for people with diverse abilities and background, such as autism, deaf and hard of hearing, and students from underrepresented communities in STEM education. So these technologies can range from augmented and virtual reality, tangible user interface, embodied conversational agent, and other AI-powered and playful user interfaces. What's special about those technologies is that it helped augment our thinking and communication during real-time, face-to-face, and physical interactions. At ATL Lab, both graduate and undergraduate students work with professors on a variety of technologies on how humans interact with computers. Human-computer interactions explore the space where humans and computers meet.